you sort of view the um the relationship there between those two yeah. teams i mean i think that obviously golden state gets you know all the credit for everything that they've accomplished you know up to this point but um you know i mean i think that that's a team that that we look at and you know feel like we can accomplish similar things i mean obviously we haven't won a championship so we don't know exactly what it takes to get there and you know, win a championship, but, um, you know, I mean, we're young, we're, we're up and coming. We got a core group of guys that love playing together and being together. Um, What's going on guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to late hoops. And as you guys can tell by that intro clip of Desmond Bain and the title of this video, we're going to be discussing the Memphis Grizzlies and asking the question, are the Memphis Grizzlies capable of being a dynasty? Before we get into this video, guys, I want to say thank you so much for the constant support on these last few videos, especially that magic one. We're almost at 500 subscribers and about 84% of you guys who are watching this video are not subscribed. If you do enjoy the content and want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you not only hit that sub button, but left your guys' opinions in the comments below because that's what I really love to read and talk hoops with you guys without further ado let's get straight into this video talking about the memphis grizzlies so i was watching desmond bain's second appearance on jj's podcast which if you guys aren't subscribed to jj's youtube channel i'd definitely recommend checking it out there's always great content being released weekly and desmond was talking about the makeup the current makeup of this grizzlies roster and how he believes one day they could be in the same echelon of greatness as the golden state warriors he thinks with the pieces that they have now paired with the young coaching of taylor jenkins it's only a matter of time before they start acquiring the hardware of championship rings. Right now, on a fully healthy night, the starting five for the Memphis Grizzlies is John Morant, Desmond Bain, Dylan Brooks, Triple J, and Steven Adams, with some notable pieces coming off the bench like Tyus Jones, Brandon Clark, Zaire Williams, and Santi Aldama, and many other notable rotational pieces as well. Now, this doesn't mean this is what the roster is going to look like in three to five years when certain players need to get paid those max contracts. Some players, they're going to have to go. But as of right now, this roster is really, really well constructed, solid from top to bottom, starting lineup to bench and to make things even better they have a top five to ten coach in the league depending on who you ask in Taylor Jenkins I like how he plays the hot hand rather than the starting one if someone's coming off the bench and is playing really well and having a really good game while a starter is having an off night he's not afraid to keep them in a bit longer and let the starter realize that it's his job to be a professional in that moment and support his teammate as they shine there's not too many egos towards each other in this locker room which is a really great thing to have when you're a championship aspiring team while they're a bit edgy and they do talk their trash to other franchises they do want to see each other shine and succeed which is not always the case in sports when you're talking about the difference between a starting and a bench contract there's a lot of millions that fill those gaps so sometimes these players get angry and they will be deceitful as their teammates shine and throw shade in interviews or pressers but not here in memphis another great thing about this team is that that they've all bought into one leader and that leader obviously is John Morant I mean it's hard not to as this year in his third or fourth season he's averaging 27 points seven rebounds and eight assists on pretty good splits even upping his free throw percentage to 76 percent even last year the squad Desmond Bain in particular had extremely high praise for Morant saying people debate whether or not he should be an all-star but I think we should be debating whether he's the best point guard in the league I don't think it's any question he's an all-star the real conversation is is he the best point guard in the league now me personally i wouldn't go that far but i love the support that bain shows for his brother with a super solid young core and an amazing coach we now have to ask the question are the memphis grizzlies capable of being a dynasty i guess the simple cop-out answer would be yes if this group of guys continues to play together at a high level, anything could happen, but I'm actually going to say no. If you ask a lot of people what considers a dynasty or what makes you a dynasty, if you were to win two or more championships with the same group of guys, they'd probably say yes, but in my book, in my eyes, you can't cross the line of becoming a dynasty until you crack three championships. Now that might be a little bit harsh, but it's just the truth to me. Like I don't think I would call that 
that Miami Heat team who won two championships a dynasty, especially when the expectations are through the roof, if that makes any sense. Does this mean the Memphis Grizzlies can't win three championships? Absolutely not. I'm just one man's opinion calling it like I see it. However, I just don't believe with the parity we see in today's league growing each and every year that there can be a dynasty unless you have a roster makeup like the Celtics currently do where you have a top five player at each position. You know, obviously, obviously Tatum's a top five small forward and then Jalen's probably a top five shooting guard now and they have great pieces like Robert Williams and that team is just really, really solid. And even then, that's kind of a stretch me saying that they could win three championships. I mean, look at the most recent dynasty, the Golden State Warriors. They've won four championships in the span of seven years and to do so, they had three or four all-stars on each roster that they've won. I suppose that this last one in 2022, Dre and Clay weren't all-stars per se, but they were players of the system for the last decade playing and winning at the highest level three times before their victory in 2022. John Moran and the Grizzlies have a lot of great pieces. Desmond Bain and Ja could be a remarkable duo for years to come. I think the volume and efficiency that Bain shoots the three is something that Ja is going to need next to him in his life for the rest of his career. And Triple J can be a defensive anchor that they need to win games while Dylan Brooks can be that bulldog Draymond Green type of player that just talks trash and is great in the system. On paper, it sounds really, really great, but I just can't see it coming to life. I, I just can't. It sounds crazy, I know, but there's not a world to me where the Grizzlies string together three or more championships. I could be really wrong about this roster, and I could definitely see them winning at least one championship, but does that make you a dynasty by any stretch of the imagination? I don't think so. But what do you guys think? Am I way off with this one? Can the Grizzlies become the next great dynasty and put Memphis on the map? Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, you know I appreciate your support as always. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.